you battle these constant beliefs, these feelings of I'm alone, I'm not enough, I'm incomplete, I'm incompetent, I'm powerless, I'm unworthy, I'm unloved, I'm unlovable. Those are programming errors. Someone has taught us to believe that. And when we can source that, where it's really coming from, it's not our true essential state. It's not what our quote unquote inner child believes about the world. We come into this world with reverence and wonder and playful nature. But someone, generally an adult in our life, has taught us that that's not okay. And when we get real with that, we can source where it came from, who it came from, and we can see it within them. And then that's where we find compassion for them. We dismantle it ourselves. We dissolve the energy that's created. And I can tell you right now that in the work I do as an Enneagram coach, I find without fail that the people that haven't sourced that and they're still run by those beliefs, they're hiding their gift, the gift that they have for the world, the gift that God gave them. And they're hiding their gift because of those beliefs, being unworthy, being worthless, being unlovable. And once we remove that scab, so to speak, and they are able to find their true essential nature, what's directly under that is God's gift. Because our gift is given to us, not for us, but for the rest of the world. And people teach us to keep our gift suppressed, to keep our gift hidden, and to not share it with the world because there's risk of failure. There's risk of exposing yourself as not being enough, being rejected by the world. But you can source it, and you can dismantle it. And then you can free yourself to express your gift with the world, for the world. But just curious, have you sourced your gift? And if so, what is it?